This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Muncho Mango. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Fish for Thought. Corey Yang Fish Fam, so glad to have you guys here today. Wow. Hope you guys are having a great start to your week. Pashi and I are here to make sure it goes even better. Let's get it started with Fish Tank View. My all time favorite betta fish tank when I worked at the local fish store. All right, just going in with the hands. We're not stopping with the full 100% water change. We're going in to massage the substrate as well. It's really important that you massage it. Get your fingers in there. Imagine you're making a nice pizza dough. Are you sure about that? Make sure everything's dry. We don't want our fish tank to be wet. Carefully spoon in what little substrate, purple substrate you have. The water conditioner. That is the one thing I agree with. Good so, job. Not only does the water conditioner get rid of harmful chlorine, it also gets rid of any heavy metals or chloramines that do not evaporate. So if you've got like Asian parents like myself and we just grew up thinking that, you know, leave a bucket of water out like a day or two and it'll be ready for fish. Nuh uh, no, not how it works. <laughs> just, just yeeted it. Is there a reason why it was so high up? Does she know for a fact that the fish likes it rough? Yeah, I hated these fish tanks because there'll always be a logo of a betta fish outside of the packaging. And the customers are like, there's a literal betta fish on the packagings outside. So how is it that I can't put a betta fish in here? And so that made it so much harder for me to convince them that the company that made this tank is incorrect. Would they rather trust a bigger company or would they trust me, a simple retail random dude, while their three-year-old is crying, I want a fish, I want a fish. The customer just wants to get in, get out. They don't care about beneficial bacteria and cycling. But what excuse does this person have? They're not three years old. I mean, kids grow up fast these days, so I've, they've been eating that McDonald's, got the extra hormones going on. It blows my mind that people know that they should use dechlorinator slash water conditioner, but literally nothing else about any aquarium keeping topic ever. Totally my experience watching this video as well. I don't even think most people know what dechlorinators do. They just think it's a magic concoction that makes any water safe for fish. Bro, y'all getting mad karma points up in here. Dang. If you can hold your tank while full of water, it is definitely too small. I back this statement up with everything I have. If you can hold your fish tank filled with water, it is definitely too small for probably any fish. Or you're like the strongest person alive, which respect. Yeah, I know not to mess with that. So anyway, step number one in kind of fixing this is not to explain how to do a water change. Instead, it's more fundamental. It's to do some research into how big minimal size for a betta fish should be. Because it's kind of meaningless to say how you should do a water change instead. The tank itself isn't even the right tank. But let me tell you something. This is definitely the right food. Extreme Krill Flakes, my betta fish absolutely loves it. And I mean really loves it. More than bloodworms. And don't get me started on chonk and chonker. I mean, they eat algae, but they didn't get that chonky off of algae alone. Aquariumcup.com. Your fish are gonna thank me later. Not to mention, there's a lot of other varieties such as betta pellets, algae wafers, the whole shebang. This tank sent in by Littleton on FFT Discord. I think that is some type of lava rock. Corner heavy scape with the sand substrate, keeping it clean. Beautifully planted throughout. I love that the rock has shapes that allow for little platforms. Attach something onto there. Nice collection of rhizomal plants. Floaters up top according to the roots. Looks like water lettuce. I think it's a single betta tank. I'm really vibing with this tank. The balance is all there as well for a corner heavy scape. 4.65 out of 5. Keep it up. PETA kills rescued lobsters by putting them in fresh water. It hurt itself in its confusion. <laughs> One of the best lines in any video game, it hurt itself in its confusion. Just that line itself has taught me so much about English. It's probably the reason why I got such high marks in English 12. It hurt itself in its, no apostrophe, confusion. This sentence is confusion, but PETA is even more confused. Read that you should rinse filter sponges in the tank water. This normal? Uh Damn, son. Hopefully you didn't read it from me. I used to say this a lot. By the way, nice scaping tools. Thing is though, you should rinse it in fish tank water, but not in the fish tank. I think you're supposed to rinse them in a bucket you've emptied some water from the tank into. That would make more sense. This is hilarious, but you know what? This is what the hobby is all about. These learning moments, very crucial, very critical for these mistakes to happen. I don't think this flash increase in turbidity is gonna do any permanent damage to your fish. You're probably gonna have to siphon some of the gunk off of your plants and 
you know, just everything that settles. Other than that, nothing, no real harm done here. Of course, your hard-earned Aquascape now looks like trash for about three or four days, but you're not gonna forget this. First-hand experience, very valuable. And the reason for this, for any of you who are wondering, you want to clean the filter medium, like the sponges, in the water from your fish tank that you siphon out of during a water change, because you want to preserve the beneficial bacteria. If you just run the sponges under tap water, it's gonna kill a lot of the colony. What you're really doing when you're cleaning out the filter is getting that gunk getting the macro debris out, not necessarily sterilizing the sponge. Christopher22121 sent this in. Man, you guys are working it. That's a big tank with a clean glass, clean backdrop, clean substrate. Oh, not overstocked. The plant choices, colors, textures, on point. Just a little hint, a tease of woodscape. One thing that would make it superb, take this next level tank to the next higher level, in my opinion, is to fill out that gap. Because right now I think it's throwing off the balance and I think it could really appreciate just a homogenous hardscape. For now, a 4.8 out of 5. Keep it up. My dream tank just arrived. Give me y'all stocking recommendations. That's incredible. That's a huge tank. I am so jealous right now. That's a pond. That's a whole ass pond, dude. And how did you even get it delivered? I don't even know what the procedures are. Where do you even get this? Custom built? So it's a 8x4x1.5 by by low boy. My current ideas are native sunfish, native live bearers, lobster, wild type Oscars. Dang. Bashirs. I'm not even going to try that word. Horseshoe crabs. Holy crap. Holy crab. These are some amazing ideas already. I love the idea of a native tank. Yeah, me too. Native tank or native live bearer tank. You know, it might not be as flashy as some of the other ideas like horseshoe crab. What the heck? That's amazing. Big tanks with very small fish. It's actually like they're swimming in the wild, barely feeling the effects of being in captivity. What would you guys like to stock this tank with if you had, if you got your hands on this fish tank? And if you have any stocking ideas, put them in the comments below. Stefan and Stephanie from Germany. Hey, your names match each other. That's so cute. Eight gallon with shrimp and snails. Beautiful, clean scape. I love the little floating piece of wood. It's very obvious that you try to scape and cover the higher up sections of this tank. And I respect that. Some people just give up and just leave it bare. Kudos to you guys. 4.7 out of 5. Keep it up. Two derps, one skull. Okay, that guy, that rainbow shark is getting real chonky. That's that's kind of approaching like danger levels of getting stuck. The frog though, I mean, this is a perfect timed picture. I'm almost like, did you put them there or something? <laughs> it's unbelievable. Owner of that skull probably has a headache and a frog in his throat. Ha, huh. lol, make sure that little pork sausage, pork sausage, doesn't get stuck if he gets even more chonk. This picture is great. Please be cautious like the other guy recommends. I recently had to euthanize my chonky balashark, oh, rest in peace, because he was stuck in the same situation. I know it was a freak accident, but it felt terrible that I didn't consider he could get hurt in the aquarium decor. Rest in peace, Thomas. And can we just take a second to acknowledge how respectful this comment was first of all they addressed that it was a nice picture and then they connected it to a personal experience we stand considerate thoughtful commenters the last two brain cells <laughs> this tank is sent in by kaiga from fft discord a blue jelly neo caradina tank with the explosion of shrimpy babies love the camera work shallow depths of field some alder cones some alder cones so kind of black water-esque oco stone a hint of woodscape i can see why their population exploding they probably love everything about this tank so many places to hide nice clean filtered water I think that's aquarium co-op sponge filter. Man of culture, I see. 4.55 out of 5. Keep it up. When your human gives you an extra pellet. I love it. This is probably equivalent to a betta fish of us getting like an extra nugget or some extra fries in the bottom of the bag when we go to McDonald's or something. Because that is the face I make. I do be making that face. It's so cute it makes me want to stick peanuts in its nose. I don't know what anime this is. I probably haven't seen it. If I had to take a guess, it's probably Kaon. Is a sent in this fish tank. It's a small little fish tank. Might be five gallons. Might be a little bit smaller than five gallons. Could be a 3.5. In which case, I'd say it's a little small for a better fish. And you should consider the upgrade. It seems to be primarily artificial plants. However, if it's not artificial, I would like to know what that plant in the back is. Because that looks amazing. Anubius attachments. Better fish looks healthy. Hopefully, you're doing water changes the right way. This tank will be unrated because it's too small. So... No rating there. Rupashi planning to assassinate Chris. Just the perfect Photoshop. What is that even? <laughs> I've never been impressed more than this Photoshop skill. <laughs> Looks like you're cheering on Rapashi. Can we just end Chris hate? 
today. Are you guys influenced by that show, Everybody Hates Chris? I've never watched that show because obvious reasons. Everybody loves Raymond. Petco sales be like, Petco has a good deal on tanks. Going home with 10 tanks. Yeah, did you really save money? Like you weren't planning to buy one tank even, so there's your saved money. But all of a sudden, because of this deal, you bought 10 whole tanks. And not to mention the stuff that's gonna go into the tanks also costs money. It's not a cheap hobby, guys. It's not. Poor beta. DIY aquarium. You've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> that's just a very small blender with half filled rocks and you just threw some guppy grass in there and called it a day. If this is DIY, I might as well have made Rapashi by my own two hands. Same, same. Hey guys, welcome back to the end of the video. End of the video, gang. Thank you so much for staying until the end, supporting this channel, driving analytics to the moon and Mars. Now it's time for Katawa. The question of the week is, what is your favorite live bearer? So there's a lot, right? Like sword tails, guppies, mollies, platies. Some of you say platies. Endler's live bearer. Rice fish. Are rice fish live bearers? Anyway, you get the point. Let me know what it is down in the comments below. I'll see you guys there. I'll also see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed, please smash that like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come. And don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin die, acclimate that. With my shoal at, cure my fin rot. From Carasiformes to Parachirodon, hold on. There's not another fish that you can wish for. Live fam says, I finna one. I finna gone three days without fur. I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest. No tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal black tetra go skirt we came to play came to silence gang